good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture, our Minister Nina Obulian Kojznik and myself, I wish you a warm welcome in Zagreb NEM 2022. The first edition was held in 2019. Unfortunately, it could not take place for two years. We had the COVID crisis. Also in Croatia, in Zagreb, Petenja, Sisak, we had an earthquake. I hope the crisis situation is over now. We're excited to have you here in Zagreb, a unique opportunity for networking. But first of all, I must thank the organizers, Media Vision, especially two people who are responsible for almost every person here today, Sanja Božić and Ivan Ljubičić, and also I would like to congratulate them, Ivan, for becoming a father last night, and Sanja for becoming grandmother last night. Let's give him a job. <laughs> Probably Luna will pick after them and continue with the NEM conferences someday. Well, let's get serious. Uh, we have many panels, many interesting guests. I will just go briefly of maybe some of the more, most impo important panels for our audiovisual industry. Regarding the co-productions, this is uh, one of the most important topics regarding the Croatian audiovisual industry. We witnessed how important the need for cooperation, especially between EU countries, is during the COVID crisis, when culture was almost put to a stop in some countries. And we see that the uh, audiovisual industry uh, has to keep it together, that countries has, have to be open for cooperation and co-productions. As you are familiar, and we talked about it at uh, last time in Dubrovnik, we have the new Electronic Media Act, which entered into force last year in October. It introduced some changes regarding to the contribution of market stakeholders, especially streaming platforms and uh, operators who now have to contribute to local production and development of the audiovisual sector. During the COVID crisis in 2020, I talked to one of our famous directors and he told me, don't worry about culture. After the plague came the Renaissance and after the COVID crisis, there'll be another Renaissance, especially in the movie industry. And this really happened. The year 2021, is one of the most successful in the past period, if not the most significant in the history of Croatian cinematography. Last year, Croatian titles recorded over 300 screenings at international festivals, including the three biggest ones, Berlin, Cannes, and Venice, receiving dozen, a dozen awards. So far in 2020, over 80 Croatian films have appeared at over 60 festivals. Among A-list festivals, Film Safe Place winning Best Emerging Director, Best Actor, and Best First Feature at the Locarno Film Festival, becoming the first film in the past 30 years to win three major awards at an A-list festival. This also was followed by the Sarajevo Film Festival, where it again won big, scooping up the hearts of Sarajevo Awards. Also, the movie Uncle was screened at this year's Kylo Ivai, receiving a special jury mention. World premiere of Traces at Vaishova Film Festival, followed by Tallinn Black Knights. The film Carbide premiered at San Sebastian International Fest Festival, just to mention a few. Also, the last two years were especially good for Croatian series, and they also achieved international acclaim the last socialist artifact won the Grand Prix in the international competition at Sirius Mania. The Silence, we saw the first episode premiered last year in NEM. Also, the Sirius Paper, which is the first Croatian television series available globally via Netflix in more than 190 countries. This is a great series. We all love the paper. I hope that at the next NEM, there will be a new series available at 190 countries, so I don't have to repeat this next year. With this mention, we can be certain that we already have great directors, producers, actors, screenwriters, and we are already present 
with our industry international. And the new Electronic Media Act opened a new possibility for our audiovisual industry, so we need to make even more efforts toward integrating ourselves into international content. content. This is also one of the panels that is named a step towards streamers. And let's not forget the operators, because as I mentioned, the new law enabled them to be content creators. And we had an interesting panel last year, this year in Dubrovnik. I think it was one of the best panels that we had in Dubrovnik. And at the end, we can conclude that we have a new generation of authors currently at the forefront of creation filmmaking. Uh, as many as eight feature film titles have been made by DB authors. As I mentioned, exceptional success in the international level, primary thanks to the persistent work, effort, creativity, and vision of mm -hmm. film workers. We are sure that this year's NEM Zagreb will boost cooperation and dialogue between all stakeholders, film professionals, media service providers, and the Creation Audiovisual Center, and also encourage co-productions and production of quality, competitive content with potential for international distribution. This international distribution is very vital to Croatia, as it is in other countries. And I wish you a great conference, and thank you for your attention.